Alright, um, let's see. What made Honestly, when I first big chops, it took me probably like three months to fall into with my fall in love with my hair. The first time I cut it, I mean I was really happy because it was a liberating experience. I was so proud of myself and I was just happy that I could see my real hair, my real texture for once in my life and I was an adult. <laughs> um, so that was very, it was a very awesome experience. But then I had to learn how to do my hair and you know I didn't love it at first and honestly I can say I fell in love with my hair. What, I think I showed you guys the pictures of my short hair with the bantu knots. Um, I think one of them I had like a denim um, blazer on, the other one I had like a pink lacy top on. Those are the moments when I fell in love with my hair. Those bantu knots just saved my life. Um, that's what I have today is bantu knots. But it's with the twist and a bantu knot. Um, so yeah, it did take a while and I also credit Taryn Guy for me falling in love with my hair because she has really curly hair but she always rocks her fro and you know that made me fall in love with my texture like I was like wow this girl has really curly hair what I'm striving to have but here she is picking it out into her fro and so that really gave me the confidence and that's when I really fell in love with my hair is when I accepted my true texture um so I do really recommend that you guys really try to just fall in love with your true texture don't go after that perfect curl um, and honestly, I did forget that. Like, I learned that early on, but later on, years down the line, I forgot. And I really was trying to find that perfect curl or that perfect twist out. And it made my journey difficult even that far in the game. So you can't lose sight of that. You have to remember to really love your true texture. And if you have to wear a straight up fro to realize that, to realize that then you need to do that. Like you have to, you have to do it. Um, don't get caught up into the perfect twist out and all that good stuff. It will drive you insane. Um, um, I take my own pictures. I have um, my tripod um, and I usually just set up the timer or, um, you know, with this selfie stick, I can take this part off of the selfie stick. I can take this part off with a selfie stick and um, I put it on my phone like this and then I screw this onto my tripod and set up a timer. So sometimes I do that myself, but sometimes Devin takes them, sometimes even Taylor takes my pictures. I let Skylar take them just because she wants to feel included. Um, but yeah, I usually, it's usually myself with a timer. And how I stay motivated to post on here, honestly, you guys keep me motivated to post on there on Instagram because I know that it's important that you should post three times a day at least. You should say good morning to everyone. I like saying good morning to you guys. Definitely say how's your day going in the afternoon and definitely say good night. It's just like a, a actual relationship or friendship. That's how I feel about you guys. So I really do try to be respectful to you guys because you follow me for a reason. So I do want to stay in touch. Um, but also I like posting because your comments, your likes, they really do motivate me too. It's not like I'm craving your attention, but I like to stay in touch with you guys. I like to um, motivate you guys and also like your feedback because it really does inspire me. It doesn't stroke my ego or any of that. It really just inspires me to stay natural, to stay taking care of myself. And yeah, it's just that's how I feel about posting on social media. I don't feel like I'm superficial or trying to, you know, um, show off or all that stuff. Like, I really do it because you guys keep me going and I want to do that for you as well. Good question. Absolutely not. I'm so excited. I am, um, I have never... Honestly, I have never, ever thought about getting a perm. Like seriously, what would be the reason? Especially because, you know, the only reason why 
someone or if I ever thought about getting a relaxer is because I wanted straight hair. And why would I risk my health or use a chemical like that to straighten my hair when I could just flat iron it? Um, to me, honestly, I don't see anything wrong with heat training your hair. Cause I thought of that actually. You know, I thought about just wearing straight styles. Um, and you know, of course, over time, some people consider it heat damage, but if that's what you're doing, if you're stop heat styling, then you're heat training your hair, which means you can make your hair straight, um, but it just won't curl up. So to me, that's not considered damage, that's considered heat training. Um, so yeah, I would, if I ever wanted my hair to just be straight, I would just heat train my hair. I would never go back to a perm, ever. And I feel like that should be your motivation as well. If you're thinking about perming your hair, don't. Just heat train your hair. You don't have to put a, you know, a harmful chemical into your hair, your head. I hope that helps. And there's nothing wrong with, well, I don't think it's anything wrong with wanting straight hair. If you want straight hair, wear your hair straight. Just don't put a perm in it. Absolutely not. I think that <laughs> if anything, if I do get the urge to color again, maybe like years down the road, because it seems like that's the journey. The journey is after a few years, you get bored, you want to do something, and color is usually the thing that you want to do. I think that I would do um, just the ombre like I wanted from the beginning anyway, because that's easy to just cut off, you know? Oh my god, this is a good question. Um, regrets, definitely my regrets and lessons. I definitely regret falling out of love with my hair and the true texture. Like I said before, I think it's important that you fall in love with your true texture. Don't go after the perfect twist out, braid out, wash and go, whatever. Like you really need to just fall in love with the natural texture. It's so important. Just like you have to fall in love with your natural hair so you don't rely so much on relaxers or weaves. That's the same way you have to feel about your natural